Hello again. This will be video number two on my Sunday. Hmm. Put that on the loop, right? That's just good stuff. Like I said, enjoy the simple things. I'm gonna do a couple more videos today. This one will be a quick one, hopefully. You never know. And then once I get down to the Chevron and have all my art set out, I'll show you some of my newer paintings. <clears throat> this video is going to be directed at my men, my young millennial men. Mm -mm -mm. I was reading an article yesterday. Well, I didn't read the whole thing, it was garbage. But the, the, the premise of this article was saying that there was, there was a surge, insurgent of health risks associated with smoking marijuana. Hmm. Interesting. How long has, have men been smoking weed? Time immemorial, right? And then all of a sudden, they're, they're throwing out a warning after a study. Good God, these people are scum. Their study of, of this, whatever the hell, it wasn't a study, come on. They're, they're just, I'll explain. <clears throat> In this article, which they didn't talk about, was vaping. Vaping's huge among young millennial men. They got, my son does it, which is, probably doesn't do it anymore, but he, they got peach, they got strawberry, they got watermelon. I noticed they're starting to do flavored weed too. That's just fucking weird. Anyway, vaping, huge health risk. Number one. Number two, the snake bite. You know what I'm talking about. That is causing a lot of problems with heart. And I'm thinking that might be the reason why this article came out, to try to cover some, some pharmaceutical company's ass. Because young men are dropping dead from heart attacks. Two soccer players in the last couple of weeks dropped on the field, had, had cardiac arrest. They both survived. They revived them. A hockey player wasn't so lucky. Last week, 24 years old, dropped dead on the ice of a heart attack. All right, it's not good. He was fully, he had all of his snake shots, put it that way. That was number two. The third instance, the third issue I would bring up would be the activity of these young millennial men, which is one of their favorite pastimes is first person killer shooter games, video games where they'll sit in front of a, a monitor for 12 hours, killing people. Lovely, isn't it? Instead of, I don't know, going for a jog, or a walk in the park, or I don't know, fucking their old lady. Instead of playing with your Xbox, maybe you should be playing with their Xbox. I guarantee you that's what they're hoping. If you've got a woman, God bless you. Maybe you'll find one if you quit playing with that Xbox, you'll actually find a real box. Who knows? Be a man instead of a boy. You know, that whole when I was like when I was a child, I thought as a child, I spoke as a child. And when I was a man, I put away childish things. First person shooter games are childish. I'm sorry. The whole point is to kill other human beings. That's just horrible. Besides the fact. And I want my millennial men to be able to smoke weed and not be ridiculed for stupid heart conditions that don't exist from it. I've, except for the break I took when I was raising my kid, my son, I, I've pretty much smoked weed my whole life. You know, I mean, not a, not like a Rastafarian. That's another thing I would point out. You know, it's important to, to switch over from whatever medication you're on, chemically, to marijuana, but you should always do it in moderation. You should, you, you, I got in an argument with the manager at my last, one of my last jobs, and he ended up firing me because I called him out on this bullshit. He was smoking weed like constantly. And I, and I was like, dude, you need to work. And he was getting everybody else high. When I was trying, we were, we were trying to reach a deadline for this irrigation, for this hemp grow. And this guy was just acting like it was his personal money. And it wasn't. But I got fired because he had a video of me cussing him out 
And I did. I knew he was recording me. And I said, you know what? Oh, you're recording me. So I looked right at his phone and I just told the company what I thought of him. He's a lazy piece of shit. It had nothing to do with marijuana, but that, that wasn't helping. He used a card as an excuse to smoke all day. I smoke marijuana. And I do it at night when I get off work as you have a couple beers, right? I don't do it. I, don't, I have to drive. I have to drive vehicles. I have to, you know what I mean? You're dealing with people. Anywho. So that's important to just moderation, please. And don't let them blame every, every health problem on marijuana because that's not the issue. The issue is all the other crap that they're, they're pumping in the young men. They're pumping horrible chemicals or, you know, the vaping, the, the video games, their lifestyle is shit. Trust me, your old lady, if you have an old lady and she's sitting in the background watching you play video games, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're lucky you have an old lady, right? Cherish her. She's a goddess. Honor her. Don't honor a fucking video game. Okay? But I love you. And I want you to be able to smoke weed and not be ridiculed for your heart condition that you got from some other bullshit. I just don't buy the article. I thought it was just a smoke screen for the, to cover some asses on what's coming in the future. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging you. Put down the Xbox. And go out for a walk in nature. Like I said, hump your old lady. She'd appreciate it. Trust me. Do it right, though. Foreplay is important, too. Don't even, don't skip that. I mean, if you're running on passion, knock some tables around. I don't care. But foreplay is important. Always will be. And clean your hands and nails. Always. Anyway, love you. I already said that. Huh? I'm such a flirt. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Good luck, millennial men. We need you. Trust me. We need you in the healthy in this world. So remember that. Anyway, okay. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.